New day, new verse. Let's dig in. Verses 17 through 19. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. You know, I, I think a lot about this verse in different ways. You know, sometimes I'll be thinking about the whole get along with everyone, and it's like, well, that's certainly easier said than done some days. But at the same time, it's kind of one of those learned behaviors. But it's not something you pick up by learning it the way the world teaches, I don't think. Because, at least for my part, with my journey, I had to get to where I could release so that I could actually pick up something different. When I let go of those expectations, when I let go of saying I need it to play out this way or that way, or, or in those judging moments, those I want this kind of justice moments, you know, and, and to be honest, when I was thinking about the the whole we want justice thing in, in the moment, it, it made me think about, you know, the question of how can a God, a good God allow this, and it's like, well, if you want to wipe out everybody that does injustice, you have to wipe out humanity. Because only Christ was perfect. The rest of us, no matter how hard we try, will drop that ball. So it, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, God knows how it's supposed to play out. You know, his justice always wins out. Truth always wins out. Good always triumphs. It's not a motif. It's simply how it plays out. It may not play out in the time we want it to, and it may for a season look like defeat, but hope always wins out. As long as we pursue the Lord, we will never have to fear being stuck in those valley moments. We don't have to camp in places of Death Valley and the Valley of Death and those dark places and moments in our lives. We can just keep pushing in trust and hope and faith. That in learning to rely on that kind of love, it is easier to love others. That you get that bit of you that's able to connect. Because the entire thing is a process about letting go of those expectations, letting go of that need to judge, letting go and trusting God to be who he is and who he says he is when he says, I will take care of it. Because what, what we call justice in one moment may look like murder in the next. What we call justice in one mo moment may be not enough for the true problem at hand. We don't know. The issue is with trusting God to sort it right. That the agency on us is to do the right thing. We can't control what other people can do or will do. You can legislate morality all you want, it will never work. That's why you can't legislate morality, because people will do what they want. You know, and, and if, if, when you're letting go, when you're trusting God and looking at it from his perspective, then it's easier to see life from his perspective, to see beauty. Because then you're no longer playing the game that says brother against brother. All of it kind of connects to releasing what we think it looks like, or what we think it's supposed to look like, and letting us be learned to walk forward toward God's kingdom. It's interesting that one of the best bits of advice there to me is to discover beauty in everyone. Because everyone includes ourselves. So when we have those moments of down on ourselves, discovering that beauty makes it easier. Because there is beauty in everyone. Just like there is beauty in every flower. There is beauty everywhere you look, if you're looking for beauty. If you're looking for death and ruin, or looking for joy or sorrow, looking for whatever you're looking for, you'll find. Seek and ye shall find. It's not just cryptic fun, it's a hint. Where you put your focus, you'll find. 
So, what path does one want to take? One that exists in love, that the very idea of getting along with everybody is not only easy, it's the default behavior, or continue to play a game where we act as monsters rallying against each other. The question does not seem an overly complex one to me, but I've also spent a lot of time in the other camp, and I don't want it anymore myself. <laughs> so I trust that when God says he'll take care of it, he will. It's not an easy thing to learn, but it's a powerful thing to learn, and it's learned through release. It's this weird... almost circular path up. <laughs> it's like a spiral staircase for Jacob's Ladder. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for the last of Romans 12, verses 9, or 20 and 21. I will see you guys then. God bless, and his favor be upon you.